Welcome to the University of Lisbon and its National Museum of Natural History and Science. Thank you all for coming, especially those here for the first time. It's a delight and an honor to have you. The Living Sea by Hussein Aga Khan that we are opening today is not our first exhibition about nature, photography or conservation. Raising awareness of citizens towards nature and science in a broad historical, social and cultural context is our core business. What the Living Sea is, and definitely, is our first exhibition of the so-called climate crisis, which is all around us in its all full force and emergency, as seen this week in New York, Monaco, and all over the world. Like our university, this museum is not a place of quiet truths, but a place of noisy turbulence, constantly pushing the uncomfortable boundaries of human imagination, creativity and curiosity in the past, present and future. The Living Sea exhibition fits perfectly in this frame. What is photography if not freezing time? What you see in the show represents nothing but frozen time, incredible, fantastically joyous moments and encounters with miraculous creatures some horrifically rare, and some more mischievous, playful, and intelligent than you could imagine. Every hour counts, every extra day counts. Sometimes you see next to nothing for a week. Sometimes magic happens right while you're exiting the water or forest. The problem today is that we have no time. This is the world that frames my photography, and this is what keeps me up at night. As a wildlife photographer, one wonders which of our subjects will remain in 20 years' time, 10 years, or five. Having had the immense privilege of these incredible encounters and unforgettable moments, the words to live by are explore, observe, educate, and protect. Seeing what I see, experiencing what I experience, and knowing how absolutely lucky and privileged I am and fragile things are, feels like I have to share these creatures and ecosystems now. Wouldn't it be nice if we incorporated environment into nearly every aspect of development, even construction? If we replanted wide open spaces, divested from harmful businesses, made sure that no student left our schools or universities without at least basic knowledge about environmental problems and solutions both locally and internationally. If communities were given extra incentives to protect their wildlife and lands, if we could buy more important habitats or convince others to do so. For instance, buy great tracts of forest to protect them into the future. If we could help protect wildlife and guarantee a future for things like elephants and rhinos, giraffes and pangolins, sharks and turtles. If we could ensure that our children and grandchildren should, could still witness these animals outside of zoos, walk through healthy forests and swim in cleaner oceans. If we could all work a little bit harder together to try to save the planet and its denizens, including ourselves. Thank you. Dear Prince Hussein Naga Khan, thank you very much for choosing us. It's a pleasure to have you here, to have all your friends and family here, to have this beautiful exhibition. And thank you. We hope that you can choose again our buildings, our museum, our university to show your work. Thank you very much.